Growing up watching James Bond, I always loved the action, the gadgets, and of course, the cars. Goldfinger was no exception, full of iconic moments. So naturally, when we were given the brief to design Phantom Goldfinger, it was really exciting. The film features a 1937 Rolls-Royce Phantom Sedan de Ville, used by Bond's nemesis, Auric Goldfinger, to smuggle gold out of it. With Phantom Goldfinger, we wanted to design a modern interpretation, an evolution of the original, whilst also recalling key memorable scenes from the film. The car contains a host of whimsical features, which in some cases have been playfully hidden to echo how Goldfinger conceals the gold in the coachwork of his Rolls Royce. So, for example, the spirit of ecstasy has been given a unique gold-plated finish on select areas of her body that gives the illusion that it's been worn back and there's solid gold underneath. It's quite subtle and not something you realise at first glance, partially because your eyes are drawn to the striking yellow paint scheme, which is colour matched to the original. One key Rolls-Royce moment in the film is when Bond is following Goldfinger, driving along the Furka Pass in Switzerland. Here we've designed a phantom gallery that features an artistic, isoline map of the Swiss Alps, with the Furka Pass highlighted by a slither of gold. The clock's around at the centre is inspired by the gun barrel opening sequence of Goldfinger and many subsequent Bond films. Another subtle reference to this scene is the golden hue constellation depicted in the Starlight headliner which references the day that the Furka Pass scene was shot, the 11th of July, 1964. The film's storyline can also be found on the inside of the picnic tables, where we've recreated, through a gold inlay, a fictional map of Fort Knox, the US gold reserves which Goldfinger plans to attack in the film. To complement this storyline, there's also an 18-carat solid gold speed form housed inside the centre console of the car, as if it was secured in a vault. Throughout the car, we've placed a few fun Easter eggs, for example, there's a small device in the boot designed to look like a tracking device Bond places in the rear of Goldfinger's Rolls Royce to trace him to his smelting plant in Switzerland. Here it acts as a projector for the 007 logo. Inside the boot lid, we've mounted a gold-plated golf putter, which references the first meeting of Goldfinger and Bond during a round of golf. The head of the club is adorned with a monogram, AG, matching that found on Goldfinger's signet ring. Phantom Goldfinger stands to be our most ambitious and creative one-off project to date, a fitting tribute to the legacy of a classic Bond film.